Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel you know what study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos in this video we will talk about gene ontology that how we can do the gene ontology analysis of our data the gene ontology analysis of our rna sequencing data we will determine that our treatment affected the what type of gene or pathways through gene ontology or what was the response our of our studied genes or gene family towards specific treatment for example you are working on a heat shock protein or any other protein family or any one gene and that you want to know that how your family genes respond to the specific treatment or in the oe lines of any other specified gene for example you have any other gene that uh, you have overexpressed in any line like arabidopsis or any other your plants and then you have done the rna sequencing of that samples and now you are working in another uh, gene family and you want to know or you want to check that this gene family members how response in that uh, or spaced uh, lines so how we can determine it let's start so when you do the rna sequencing of your data so you will get the this type of file from the company so that contains these are the for example i have done the overexpression in glycine max of one of my gene and i have done the rna sequencing of that lines so the i receive the uh, data from the company and one of the file that was contained is in excel file and it has the this type of data that it that it shows that the gene id is then this is the base mean value and this is the base mean value of one sample that is control and this is the treated sample base mean value that this is a fold change and this is the log to fold change the p value and fpkm value of a sample 1 and this is the fpkm value of the control and this is a chromosome of that gene located on which and this is the start of that gene and this is the end of the gene and this is the strand that is on the forward or reverse and this is the gene name in ensemble database and like this it has all the information like uh, uh, gene data in symbol and this is the gene symbol in uh, ncbi but we only need the data from this file that this go id so we need this column the data in this column that is a go id column we need only this and another one is the gene id we didn't need the other data so for making this file for analysis first you need to save it in your folder as a rna seq file for go analysis and then you need to delete all other columns we need only go id column this is a go id column and other we didn't need so this column and other thing that you must delete that row that was empty rows that didn't have the go 
information so for this you need to select select the column go to data and sort so here you can these are all the empty files be comes in one side so you can select all these empty lines or rows and delete them after deleting that all the empty for lines now our data is ready so we will now save it in txt file so go to file save as and from here you can select text ms dos and save it now open the tv tool and uh, that folder so we have this file that we have now generated for uh, go and these are my gene list my family gene list i want to check the response of these my family members in that my over expressed lines so first you go to go k e go and k g n l s and then gene ontology gene ontology and then go enrichment select this so first you need to download this go basis dot obo file so for downloading you only need to click on this icon when you click so it will ask you that you want to download so yes and then select the destination folder that uh, and simply open it so it has started to download when the download downloading completed so this icon this icon becomes bright now it is a uh, light or dim so when it the downloading is completed so it will become bright and it will take about uh, half minute or one minute and after downloading so it will become bright so here is the size of that file this is the file in our folder has come and it's about 30 mb 30 mb file and uh, now you need to download uh, sorry upload these files so here we upload our this uh, go bio basic obo file and here we will upload our that uh, rna sequencing txt file for go that we have now generated and here the list of genes so you can copy this list of your family genes or any gene that you want to check if you want to check the whole genome genes so you can only copy all that genes and then paste it and here you can select the output folder that where your results will be saved so you can click or select any file and then drag it here so that folder will be selected in which the results will, will be saved so click on start so the process will start for analyzing your genes so analysis have completed and it will take about 1 minute maximum so here a message come congratulation 
conduct enrichment finish so okay so now we will we will open the file this is the file that contains our uh, and this file contains the this is the class that these genes belong to which class the molecular function other uh, cellular component or other biological process and they and these are their go name or uh, description gene ontology description and this is the gene ontology id and these are the level or p value and here are the gene list that which genes these are the genes which genes of your family that you have selected and put in the gene list name that from that list so these genes or belongs to molecular function and their specific molecular function is related to phosphopyruvate hydratase activity whether these are also another genes like this so so these genes are responsible for like these genes are responsible for this function that trna binding of that the molecular function and some are related to cellular component like uh, cytosolic genes are present or uh, list are present of these genes and some are biological process like related to the maltose metabolic process so this is the gene list so in this way you can find that your gene of interest belongs to which class of the function either molecular function or cellular component or biological process and in that class that gene belong to which specific characteristics either they are trna binding or like lyase li 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 activity or rna binding or like this so in this way you can do the gene ontology analysis so now we can make the graph uh, that represents or show these all classes so go to the open that folder where we are we have saved the this file and now open the tv tool go to the go enrich and then here common tools and here enrichment bar plot click on it and then drag that generated file that we have now generated just generated a gene ontology analysis file drag it and simply click on start here start when you click so here is our figure is ready so these are the genes and these are the uh, find that the blue belongs to the molecular function red belongs to the cellular component where the biological function process belongs to that are yellow one so here are the these are on the basis of log 10 value and these are their descriptions so this is the graph of our your family genes belongs to the these three classes of the function and then you can a simply save graph and select jpg 600 or pdf any and then save it into your destination folder so in this way you can do your genes or gene ontology analysis of rna seq data to find out your gene of interest function category through tv tool i think it is a easy way to do your gene ontology analysis hopefully it will help you if you have any query please like share and comment thank you